The final cross is the cross of serving. St. Paul talks about the cross the most in the book of Galatians, as the Holy Spirit guided him. He said, Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians 6, 2. What is the law of Christ? His commandment, and he who does not take up his cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. If you want to fulfill the law, come and bear your brother's burden. This is the concept of service, the, the love of the service in any form, such as serving those in poverty, the sick, the imprisoned, or the poor. It simply means bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. I tend to say we are lacking in prayer, in fasting, in keeping the commandment of our Lord, in jihad against sin, and in spiritual building. The easiest cross that you can carry is this at least bear your brother's burden i will not tell you to keep vigil like pope carillos for five or six hours every night praising god we cannot do that unfortunately i cannot tell you to fast for many days i cannot tell you to study and memorize the holy bible like the great saints athanasius and others i will not say that to you however there is another cross to fulfill the law of christ i was hungry I was thirsty, I was a stranger, I was naked, I was sick, I was in prison. Matthew twenty-five thirty-one to 46 Do this, and it will be accounted to you as a great cross, and fulfill the law of Christ. You'll say to him, Lord, I did not get tired like others. I didn't pray for hours to on end. I didn't get weary like those who were martyred. I didn't get exhausted like those who fasted days at a time. I didn't get tired like those upon whom the commandments cost them their lives. He'll tell you, you got tired with the feeble. You bore one another's burdens. We need to cling to the service because for us, it is carrying the cross. And believe me, it is the easiest type of carrying the cross. Don't let your service slacken or stop just because it's hot outside. That's the cross in your life. Go out and serve with enthusiasm, for that is a day of carrying the cross. I know people who wait hours for that day of service, though it's a very tiring day. That tiring day, however, is the one day that makes us feel like saying, Lord, I belong to you. Today we are truly your disciples because we carried the cross. All the other days when we eat and drink and sleep are as if we don't know you. Therefore, the love of service must increase in your heart until it becomes a feeling of devotion. I don't mean a pretense of devotion. Whether your clothing is black or white is irrelevant. That's not what glorifies a person with God. But what glorifies a person with God is the love of serving the whole week, day and night, all hours and times. Just getting to this feeling will make you very valuable for our Lord. St. Paul says to his disciples, Therefore watch and remember that for three years I did not cease to warn everyone night and day with tears. Acts 20, 31. Night and day. He is very zealous for the service because he loves the cross abundantly. For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. 1 Corinthians 2, 2. A person might say that he started serving half a day every two weeks. Good. But after, after a year, make it, make it two half days. That we too, having sufficiency in everything always, may abound in every good deed. Se- 2 Corinthians 9, 8. Since we have the things we need, since the kids have food to eat, since the house is running smoothly, so then let us grow in good works. We want to serve every day. If every day there aren't long prayers and fatigue from spiritual building, then at least let us supplement our weakness by serving. Thank God our country is rich in poverty, ignorance, disease, and burdens. We must feel that we have a wonderful opportunity to carry a cross that others are not carrying. One must remain cheerful that he is able to carry people's concerns with Christ. And as for the one who can't go out to serve, no problem. He prays for others. He picks up the phone and asks about them. He sits with a person and comforts him. To bear one another's burdens doesn't apply only to the poor and diseased. All people around us are burdened by worries. Therefore, each one of us can serve 24 hours a day. 
Servant means you serve everyone that you meet. Say to him, I will carry with you your anxiety, your distress, your illness, your problems. Let me carry with you. Why are you carrying by yourself? If an old man is carrying a bag, any youth can say to him, Give me, I will carry with you. This is Christianity. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Whoever enters from, through the door of service, if he enters it properly, he will always be a servant. At work he serves. In the street he serves. With his neighbor he serves. The service is no longer in the morning only, but becomes his position with all people. He does not miss his opportunity to carry the cross at every moment, because to him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him it is sin. James 4.17 Let's summarize. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Luke 9.23 There are at least four crosses. The cross of fleeing or jihad, the senses, the thoughts and habits, the cross of spiritual building, prayer, fasting, reading the gospel, and the holy life in all its forms, the cross of the commandment in all its types and forms, the cross of service with all its beauty. May our Lord give us joy carrying the cross so that we may still have a share with him, and glory be to God forever. Amen.